I'm going to show you how I saved a law firm over 10 hours every single week. So imagine automating the entire intake process, notice generation, status updates, and payment reminders. So in this case study, I'll show you how these systems drastically boost productivity and efficiency and why they're worth up to $10,000 and even more in most cases. So the specific processes I automated, as I mentioned, consist of the automated intake process where there is no more manual data entry or sending notifications. So everything's seamlessly integrated from your forms to your CRM or CMS, just saving hours of tedious work. Next is the automated notice process. So from receiving court dates to sending notices, this process is now fully automated, cutting down on manual input and errors, and it saves roughly four hours every week. Next is the automated status updates. So the client communications are now timely and accurate with updates automatically triggered by changes in the CRM. And lastly is the automated payment reminders. So the clients are just reminded of outstanding payments without any manual effort, just ensuring timely payments and reducing administrative overhead. So these automations transform the way a law firm operates. You know, you could basically just run your law firm on autopilot in some cases, just providing immense value and efficiency. So if you're looking for help implementing AI automation systems to grow your business, then book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link's in the description. Plus, join my free community group where I share more valuable insights that aren't on my YouTube channel. So getting started with this case study, I wanted to show you exactly how I helped run this law firm on autopilot. So... Basically, this is how I implemented all these systems. I break it down pretty in depth. And so I'm starting off with intake process and then going to notice and status updates and invoicing. So starting off from left to right, I wanted to break down, you know, what it looked like before and what it looks like after implementing all these solutions. So breaking it down, what the law firm looked like beforehand. So basically this intake process, um, you know, whenever somebody's filling out the forms online. So I'll show you what the form looks like. So they're filling in all this information. So date, time prospective client, cell phone, address, all that information. So whenever a client fills that out, whether that's their job form, Clio, um, just calling online. So if they you know, are calling, then somebody actually has to input all that information manually and they have to notify the right people. So you know, once the receptionist um, gets all that information and you know, categorizes it and puts it into their CMS, CRM, whatever you're using, um, they basically just have to, you know, notify the respective parties. So whether that's the attorneys to, you know, get ready for a consultation, and everything. So they're doing all this manual data entry. So they're entering things into their Google Sheets, which is what we use in particular or what they use in particular, I should say. And then what they did next is so once you get these client intakes, so you want to store all this information into, you know, your CMS, your CRM, whatever you're using, and then, you know, just notify the uh, respective parties. So the impact this had is it's not only time consuming, but it lead, led to human errors and just resource drain. So pretty understandable how um, something like that can just be annoying. And, you know, sometimes you don't even have to have a receptionist at all if you're installing systems like these um, to, you know, do all the work. So next up, let's go into what it looked like after the solution and break down what that actually just looked like the entire process. So once this was actually implemented, what we did then, so whenever a new client is filling out the intake form, so they're doing everything the same as before, but we're automating this entire process. So whenever they're giving, you know, all this information, it's going to automatically text and notify the team members, you know, using Twilio, open phone, Slack, whatever. So what we did um, specifically was just use Twilio and an email. So as you can see, we're using make.com, which is a no code and low code platform that just allows you to streamline, you know, some of your processes. And um, it integrates with so many different platforms. And, you know, even if it doesn't have any of your platforms, um, you can use Zapier for that instead. So as you can see, um, in this case, all we're doing is just sending a text message, um, you know, to the respective parties using make.com. So then we're going to add the intake answers to a CRM, which uh, we use Google Sheets for. So this is where they're storing all the information. So uh, all their leads, all their um, clients and um, intakes as well. So then we just connect this to a PDF software to automatically generate intake forms with filled out variables. So we're basically just upgrading this form and making it, you know, more succinct and more concise just so everything is, you know, organized in their uh, CRM. So once again, we're just using make.com. You could also use Zapier for this. And we're also integrating this with Google Docs right here to, you know, input all those variables. So, you know, we're taking information like the name and everything, um, you know, why they got arrested, types of offense. And we're just inserting all those variables into a template on Google Docs. So pretty simple stuff there, but I'll show you um, kind of an example later on. So next up, let's go ahead and talk up, talk about the notice process. So notice process, um, you know, basically this 
uh, law firm is just receiving notice processes from the courts constantly. So they probably receive a few notices every single day from the courts that they have to you know, check all the time. So what this looks like before is they're periodically checking throughout the day for any mail. So from there, they manually have to enter the data from the court notice onto paper, onto a paper template form. So impact of this, um, you know, you could probably, I'll even expand this a little bit more, but you could probably see um, how this can be so time consuming. But essentially, um, this, they're just periodically checking throughout the day for their mail. And, you know, this just takes several hours every week, just leading to delays and inefficiencies. So this, of course, can lead to human error because they're actually doing it themselves. They could slip up. But if you're using AI and automations to do this for you, you don't have to worry about that. So this just helps them save several hours every single week. And, you know, it's just allowing them to not get so drained in terms of resources. So, you know, it can just be annoying and very tedious to check things throughout the day when you just don't have to do it at all. And, you know, it's it's just considered a repetitive task. So this just allows you to focus on higher value things, which is, you know, how you can actually unlock more um, scalability within your business. So let's go ahead and look at what this looks like after. So once we implement the solution and I'll break down what this looks like. So new court dates received in mail. What happens next is all the employee has to do is manually input this information into a form which I created for them. So I use Google Form for this. You can get, you know, you can use other softwares that are a little bit more robust. So maybe Jot Form. Um, yeah, so basically I just created a form. So this is a notice template. All you have to do is insert the client name, the location of the, where the, you know, the court is going to be at, the reason for the hearing. So there's bail hearing, trial, discovery, um, pre-trial hearing, and uh, it goes on a little bit more, but I included so much into the picture. But anyways, what this is doing next is all this information automatically syncs with their calendar. So they used uh, Google Calendar for this. So something simple. And this info auto populates into a pre-made notice template. So similar to before, where this information was populated into an upgraded template, it's also doing that for the um, for the notice. So we're using make.com and integrating that with Google Calendar, Google Docs. If I actually zoom into this, you could see, um, you know, just some information, what it looks like once we actually populated this document. So here's the name of the firm. And obviously I had to block out some information um, just because I don't want to share my client details and everything. But as you can see, um, the names up here. So this is where the lawyer's names would be, um, you know, names of the client and everything, email. So I just put in a fake email, but basically it's just a um, notice letter. So it's saying something like, please be advised that your case is scheduled for a, here's the type of hearing that it is. So pre-trial hearing. So as you can see, they selected that from right here, the reason for hearing. And so just going on a little bit, although you don't have to be present, it's just, you know, giving some more information. So we don't have to get into that too much, but Anyways, what's going on next is this notice letter is automatically drafted into an email and it's waiting for review because, you know, it's very important that they confirm everything and look over everything because you can't be sending out the wrong information within a law firm. Super pivotal. So it's just waiting for review. So that's why I created it as a draft instead of automatically sending that email. But what it basically does is just, um, you know, creates that draft with an email with a notice letter. And once that's um, confirmed and everything, um, basically this would be sent to the client. So it'll attach this. And also in the email, you can send some more information. So simple process right there. And let's go ahead and move on to the status updates. So what this looks like before is essentially the firm was constantly checking for statuses to change in their CMS. So they in particular used Clio in their CMS as their CMS. So they're constantly checking that status, you know, see if something has moved on to the next phase or not. So they're often missing when a new status is changed, leading to inefficiency and overdue tasks. Also, it's just really nice to be informed exactly when something is moved on to the next stage. So the impact that this had is, you know, they don't have to constantly matter for status changes in the CMS. They don't have to do anything or deal with any human error at all. So this just increased risk of missing updates leads to inefficiency and obviously overdue tasks. So go ahead and check out what this process uh, looked like exactly when I automated it. So after, so let's go ahead and look when a task status is changed in the CMS. So they use Clio, but you can also use things like Asana, Locus, Monday. There's so many different project management tools or case management systems that you can use that this will integrate with. So when that task status is changed, so let's say it's moved from phase one and then it's moved on to phase two, which is called like to review. So all this will do next is send an email and Slack message. So this just includes the status update. So it's saying something like, I'll show you exactly what this looks like in make.com. So I was saying, hey, status for window repair was changed to for review and now waiting on you to review. So you can you know, notify the respective parties through various communication channels. So whether that's just email, Slack, 
um, you know, other platforms may use Discord, whatever. Or if you wanted to text them, you could do that as well. So that's the process right there. Pretty simple stuff. And next up, and the last one is the invoicing follow up. So what this looks like before is you're manually checking for past due invoices. So they were, you know, constantly checking this and, you know, having to manually send reminders, which were emails and texts to the client once those, um, once they actually found some past due invoices. So this is obviously time consuming, of course, leads to human error, very similar to everything before. And it's just another repetitive task that, you know, shouldn't have to be done within a law firm because you can automate all this stuff. So let's go ahead and look and look at what this looked like after. So once the new invoice is created, so you can integrate with PayPal, Stripe, LawPay, whatever. This is then automatically sending a reminder text and email of the outstanding payment. So this will only send if unpaid after a certain amount of days. So I believe we did 20 days or something like that if it was unpaid. Then it's just sending a text message and email as well. But so it's saying something like, hi, insert the client's name there. Just a quick reminder that there is an outstanding payment of then you'll just include the payment and it's due in three days or whatever. So please make please make sure to process the payment on time to avoid any delays in our services. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the payment, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention to this matter. And I look forward to continuing our business relationship. Then you're including a little sign off, just lawyer's name and a law firm name. So super, stuff, super simple stuff right there. So ultimately they save the firm around 10 hours every single week. And what this equates to is 500 plus hours saved every single year. So whether you're employing a receptionist or, you know, just an assistant. So you may not even have to employ that assistant or receptionist. So let's say you're charging that receptionist, maybe um, you're being billed $40,000 a year for their salary. So with a system like this, you're maybe getting charged five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And that's just a fraction of the cost of what you're paying your assistants and everything. So if we come down to the bottom, we can see, you know, just a rough breakdown on how much each process is saving them every single week. So the intake process is saving them around two hours. Notice process around four status updates. This is, you know, somewhere around one to two hours every single week, closer to one. And, you know, the outstanding payment reminders, you know, because they're just doing it so often, it saves around an hour to two every single week. So with these time savings, the law firm can now focus on higher value tasks like client facing work and other activities that drive business growth. So, you know, they could take on more clients, provide better service and ultimately scale their operations more effectively, which is just priceless. So if you found this case study helpful and are considering implementing similar automations in your business, I'd love to help. Book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link's in the description below. Let's discuss how we can tailor these solutions to your specific needs and help you achieve similar results. Also, don't forget to join my free community group where I share exclusive tips and strategies like this entire document that aren't available on my YouTube channel. Link's also down below and I'll see you in the next video.